Hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and also my last Star Wars review. Well, at least for, again, well, at least for a little while. Well, what could be next for th next week's, or next next Throwback Thursday? Well, let's find out. Well, but please enjoy. Yeah. And this one's on the uh, Y-Wing Starfighter from 2007 and the Twilight from 2008. So now let's start off. Whoops. Let's start off with the mini figures, of course. <laughs> so here are the mini figs included with both sets. That we which have the traditional rebel pie for the Y Wing, we have the traditional old rebel pilot with the same exact jumpsuit uh, printing for the chest plate like we've seen with most sets of course same with the like hoth rebel base which was last last week's throwback or last last throwback thursday and traditional minifig face print but now in skin color of course but the uh whereas the pilot helmet uh quite good for what it is Quite just the same for that, but with some unique printing to it. Quite interesting. And as for this asteroid droid here, which quite just the same as the original 1999 uh, uh, R2D2, but uh, now with some red to it instead of blue. Quite interesting how that is. And for the Twilight, we would have uh, Anakin Skywalker. Or well, Clone Wars version. Since this, of course, but since this in two thousand eight when the Clone Wars premiered. But as you see, but this Anakin here, which did come in a few other sets as well, and same with Ahsoka Tano here, which also came in a few other sets. But aside from that, the uh, printing for the headdress done quite good for what it is, and and of course both of which wielding a uh, green and blue lightsabers, of course, and they are with the gray hilts instead of the former chrome silver and then later regular silver. And next to it is R2-D2, which is just the same as from 99, or from 1999, at least until they finally updated him in uh, mid-2009, of course. But yeah. And, oh, and also... Last for the Twilight is Rata the Hut, who actually did come in a couple other sets from the time, like the ATTE at the time and whatnot. And also for the Clone Wars movie, which was a key part of that movie. But as for the uh, sculpting of this fit mini figure, which quite nicely done, of course. And those that printing for the eyes also done quite well, although kind of similar to that of Jabba the Hut. Uh, ones that there were, and also like most of these, it which kind of fits onto a single stud, of course. And whereas for the arms of which, which you can see just the thumb bit to it, uh, hang on. Yeah, you can kind of see the thumb bit on there. And also for both arms, which you can just swivel up and down. Oh, which so you, at least there's a little bit of possibility to him. And hopefully, if he ever, if Rata here ever does get a remake, I expect it to be probably as good as this, as or at least a little different and better, of course. And as for the uh, back printing of each of them. Not, none of which feature any back torso printing nor double side faces. Well, since obviously these are early mini figs, of course. But as for bolt sets, uh, this is which quite fair selections for bolt sets, of course. Although, if just the Twilight was made now, I would expect probably just another Phase 1 Clone Trooper randomly included in it. But yeah. 
and that's it with the mini things. And so now, on to the Y Wing Starfighter itself. So this is which it was is of course the second actual version of the Y Wing we've ever had. Well, at least until unlike with that original 1999 version, which had gotten a couple of reissues in both 2002 and uh, four, or I think. But kind of crazy seeing that. But at least this which slightly different than that, but yeah. And. Of course, you did get a few various Y wings shortly after this one, but yeah, like for episode nine and whatnot, and a couple UCS ones as well. But yeah, but as for this front head bit kind of area, which unlike previous Y wing, other Y wings just has. A little bit of snot techniques going on right in this area and also one of those car pieces on the sides of course and also large curved slopes unlike previous y-wings which just don't have that at all or just use plate but it's at least good to see some variety here and then as for the front bit which just lightsaber rods used as front blaster bits but they don't shoot or anything and as for the cockpit uh, area just the same kind of piece used for, for other uh, Y wings and X wings, and of course, you can lift the right up. Oh, whoops, although it kind of breaks off easily. Uh, okay, and also a little cockpit area, some nice smooth room to it, but with a little plate on there or tile on there, and also a, a jagged slope with a little view of the trench run, or trench, Death Star Trench, of course, but yeah. And enough space to fit your pilot mini fig into, of course, and oh, whoops, close it over him carefully like so. And as for this back area, also like most, like other Y-Wings, which has this little torrent above that swivels all around. And also this little hollow section which has a couple of jumpers plates onto them. I wish just fit your asteroid droid minivig into a course. And of course, have to like position the head sideways to get that to work. And they just never been able to like slide it in like sideways. It's just like the Jedi Starfighters, as that is. But aside from that, have some bit of greeble detailing on both sides of which, and also curve, and also another, or by three jagged slopes on there. As for this center section, which has some bits of good greeple detailing going on there, and also hinge rods at working for that as well. And as for these engine parts, which kind of built similarly to most previous other Y wings, like at least get a lot of these like large Technic rods, but in white. Nice to see there, and those little dome pieces that have the golf ball effect going on. As, oh, and as for this back section, which comprises those like odd pieces there, and also the like like large uh, circular bricks on both ends, also like other versions. And also, and if you're wondering what this little bit is for, which is for a special feature, which I'll go over soon. But also, if you notice those rocks that are sticking out. You can uh, well, if you know, tap on them, and a missile launches forward. So just like with the 2007 uh, Jedi booster ring set, and of course this, which was one of the first starts to flick fire missiles, but yeah, 
Also with this, that includes our two green uh, technic ball joints, which you can uh, stick into that section there. And what this little rod bit is for is that when you uh, pull on that, it drops the ball sections. Also like other Y wings, also like previous Y wings, at least until they used actual uh, cones and or cone pieces and cylinders to do that with, and also a swivel feature, of course. But yeah, kind of interesting to see something a little bit different with this version. And that's about it for the Y wing. Now onto the Twilight. It's quite an interesting, cool one that we've never seen any other versions of. Uh, but dang, uh, for as is, quite good for what it is, and also for the size of it. This back in 2008 was originally ninety dollars, and although the following year, X Scope UXV1 of Bionicle. Oh, was of course a little bit larger than this thing. Although nowadays this would be more like a like hundred ten dollar set or so. But yeah. And well from first glance it does feel kinda like a little thicker B wing, of course. But like this like one wing off to the side, of course. Well as for as is for this one wing a lot of plates going on, a whole lot of studs sticking up, of course. And also one of those classic dish pieces, or as in Bionicle we call the Kopaka's shield there. And also above it is a flip fire missile, which looks like this. And that classic rod piece on it, of course. And of course, can kind of bit swivel it back and forth, of course. But if you shoot launch it, you kind of lose the gun bit to it. But as for this upper section, do you have a little turret that can come right upwards and comprise of mainly a few different and bricks and technic rods and things in them. In there. And then, as on the back side, which does have this special docking kind of area that sticks out quite a bit. Which, if you try putting this on a shelf, it might, it would kind of jet it out a bit and you, it'll take up a bit of room. And also, do get those large uh, uh, curved slopes going on there. And also these Technic bits down there acting as landing gear, which do fold inwards like so. And also one little feature is that if you push on this, well, it's supposed to do so, and then it just makes this wing bit drop right down and you get a little extra little wing on it. Oh, it's making it still kind of resemble a B-wing, of course. We run a couple of Technic bits here, acting as a gun bit, gun of course, or as a blaster bit. Part, but yeah, but if you like, swing it right up, and it connects to that Technic pin right there. And as for this one side, which as you see is comprised of a couple of our uh, cylinder type pieces, this right here. And also a little extra one that we actually can take on off, and which serves as a little escape pod, like we saw with, which we also see on the uh, 2000 2009 Venator set, of course. And putting it on there, and it's just quite loosely attached to it. But that's for one so this one side, of which we should pull on that, and it flips open, and also do get a little tool rack on there. And if you can kind of notice in there, it just 
completely hollow. And if I were to guess why, probably to make it more affordable. I also forgot to mention on the back section. But if you pull this door right up for that, then some random winch and crate bit in there. And also, if you notice this like technic bit on the top, of that tap on that and it drops down. Oh, it's quite good feature for what it for what it is. Also for this uh, front section, which is comprised of mainly curved plates and all, but this technic bit here, if you pull on that, and it swivels right up, and of course all connect together with technic beams and also that little piston piece that we usually see, usually saw on the Bonnacle Titan sets, of course. And also to get two seats on in there. Oh, mostly to sit both your or both your Anakin Skywalker and Ahsoka Tano minifigs into a course, and it does provide enough room. Uh, hang on. Oops. Okay. And also a couple of jumpers on the side, so as to put both their lightsabers into a course, and also another little jumper on there to fit your Rata minifig into. Oh, it's since of course on the movie it's kind of where he or in the movie and earlier episodes of the Clone Wars, kind of puts it on there, and also. For this upper set, you get two different uh, control panel pieces, quite nice, and also good to see some variety going on there. And all close it over like so. And you can kind of see them peeking out, or peeking through there uh, quite a bit, but yeah. And also, not at all any space to fit your R2D2 minifig into the corner. Unless it was somewhere in that hollow space, but yeah. And so now, on to the final verdict. So overall, I think these of which are quite cool sets for the times. Like, for the Y-Wing, which second version that there was, at least until later versions, of course. But at least quite fair for what it was. Like the two minifigs, quite fair. But although it would have been nice if it included a couple others, which, like Admiral Akbar or whatever, but maybe that would have been a little too much. But, and as for the Twilight, quite nice one. Although if it were remade, I would expect it to be as good as it, or hope maybe a little better, like with spring launchers or whatever. And most likely still include Rata, of course. But as for the mini things that it as is, quite good for what they were. Although a, an extra Phase 1 Clone Trooper also would have been good, because if you look at episodes of the Clone, earlier episodes of the Clone Wars that features it, you would notice it does, but yeah. But as is, still quite good. And also, would be nice for, definitely up for a remake, but yeah. And both sets together, quite good for what, they're, for what they are, but yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, i say definitely get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video. And also, as this being my last Star Wars one for a while, well, just going to be a little break for that. But when will I get back to Star Wars reviews? Well, we'll see. But what is next next Throwback Thursday? Well, let's see. But yeah.
And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.